hopefully this third short clip of five about our mini eco incubator will give you the information you need about getting the right humidity in your rinsing mini eco. So if you take the lid off and you look at the face of the incubator, you'll, you'll notice a central reservoir uh, and it's divided into two pots by a little central divider. Okay, so to get the humidity right for the first 19 days, you need to fill just one of those pots, one half of the central reservoir, and you fill it up to the level of that central divider. There we go. And I can maybe bring that camera forward to show you. There we go. So I filled it up to the central, the top of the central divider, and I filled just one pot of the two pots that make up that central reservoir. Okay. So that's up to day 19. Then um, at day 19, we need to increase the humidity um, for hatching. So what we do is we add water to the second little pot again up to the level of the central divider so now both pots are filled and while we're at it we also need to make sure that we put a little pot cover on top of the central reservoir so that as the chicks hatch there is no risk of them wandering over to that central reservoir and uh, putting their heads in and drowning so there we go the reason we fill both pots at day 19 is because we need the higher humidity to prevent membranes drying and hardening before the chicks fully emerge from the egg. So although um, there is a, a tendency to want to lift the lid off to have a look and see what's going on at, at, uh, at, the, at those last three days of hatch, it's really not recommended to, um, to inspect less than every six hours so that you really maintain that humidity at hatching. And often the, the, the three, last three days of hatching is referred to as lockdown because the lid stays on and people don't go and have a look at it. Um, otherwise, during normal incubation, you ought to be checking the water levels in the central reservoir every, every two to three days. Um, and that's really it. Simple incubator. That's how you keep the humidity up. Um, the next little clip that I will do uh, will show you how to position the eggs in the incubator.